Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, I'm here with Joe. And Joe, you have something to explain to me that I don't understand. Yeah, so um, have you ever heard of Gumroad? Gumroad. Um, that is the site that has photos of people spitting in each other's mouths. It's this one's the one about comics. Oh, 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 sorry. Yeah. Okay. That's probably Gum Roads with an S at the end. Uh, Please okay. don't don't make that mistake. All right. Uh, this I, uh, reminds me. I oh, feel very embarrassed. Yes. God, so um a slight tangent. Uh this uh, gamer YouTube I went uh YouTuber I went to college with who I, I won't name names, but um he was once telling me uh how um this this mutual friend of ours was on this uh, website. It was um, uh, Dude's Nude, mm. but he thought it was Dude Snood, and it was like a different thing. So he yeah. went on that website himself and was uh, uh, surprised. He was surprised by what he found there. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, it's Dude's Nude, not yeah, Dude's Yeah, that's a very different thing than Snood. That is a. That's what, what, so what, different. Yeah. What would he? What what is snood exactly? Like, what would you be if you were looking for snood? What are you looking for there? Well, apparently, it's, it's hmm. not not nude guys. To, no, apparently not. Um, I guess snood is. Um, there's like a snood official. Like, let's see. There's an Urban Dictionary definition. It's gonna be people spitting it's, each other. Uh, it's like home. In, what the hell is like? Okay, uh, I don't know. It's like it's like anyway. Yeah. Well, that so, is um, that is a desperate mistake. But okay, so Gumroad. Yes. Which Gumroad. Has something yeah. To do with comics. Um, a lot of people use it as like a a uh, digital platform to sell. Like it's mostly for selling digital comics. So you see a lot of people put stuff up like that, or um, um no, it's like you a know, they sell but nobody has heard of it. Yeah, but it's it's a lot of like indie comics people throw their um, digital comics up. Mm. So it's like on a, there. It's been used for years. It's like mm -hmm. a comicsology, but nobody's heard of it for creators. Nobody's heard of. Yes. Okay. Perfect. I've got it. Yeah, and a lot of not known people would would use that all the time. Okay. Uh, speaking. So. So. Um, what was it? I, I just went on Gumroad and the the first thing that um that came up was go from zero to one dollar. Good. What? <laughs> I mean it's uh, it's not lying. Okay. Go from so I, I'm with you. Okay, so the, yeah, the headline on their site go from zero to one dollar. That's yeah. Um, I'm like, it's this. It's it looks like Gumroad. That's a goal. I mean, is that where we are with comics now? That uh, like you can go to one dollar. I mean, don't get people's hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Why does see what sticks uh, is in a slowly. Uh, oh my god okay anyway all right so gumroad you know what i'm looking at their site now and there'll be some pictures <laughs> you know that you're seeing in this video this is a very confusing site yeah so so basically i mean you can sell physical stuff here too but a lot of people with their comics use it as, as digital stuff so they don't have to ship things but but yeah it's it's a uh, I, I've seen people use it for a long time. Um, okay. Most people don't use it for too long, or they put stuff up there, and then they forget about it, and they're like, oh, my God, I have a Gumroad site. Or, you know, I can't help but notice there's a graphic in the middle that's trying to explain their business proposition, and it's got a little cartoon character with a giant purple wobbly head. Yes. And they've created this path that says start small, you know, okay, learn quickly, get better together, the Gumroad way. And then that loops back around to start small. So where are you on this journey exactly? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I think the the important thing 
if, if you want to make it in indie comics is to just keep getting more niche. Yeah. Maybe, I don't think this is meant to be a, a, a constant loop, but I, that's how it reads. Which it, <laughs> it, not, it sure is. That's not great. Play small bets. That's exciting. Okay. Well, there's some reason people are talking about this, right? I, so what, what, what's, what's new with Gumroad? By the way, Gumroad seems to be their primary product that they're advertising here seems to be Procreate brush packs. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, interesting. So what, 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 what's possibly, what could be controversial about this? So this, um, there was one um, comics guy, uh, was it uh, Box Brown? who um, I, I've heard of before. I, I believe he did, um, what was it? The, that There was a uh, Andre the Giant book a little while back that he uh, wrote and illustrated. Okay. And uh, he, he does a, yeah, <laughs> starting small with Andre the Giant. Yeah. But, um, oh, and he did that Tetris book uh, as well. But um, okay. he's, so he's like an indie comics graphic novelist type. And, um, he had been doing some stuff with them, and then apparently someone way, there... Right now, I don't know if you can hear in the background. My dog is in the other room squeaking a little squeaky ball. It sounds like a clown nose, which is really fitting the ambiance of this whole conversation. It is, and I did hear it. But, yeah. but um, so yeah, um, so cool stuff. I've, I've read some of his stuff before. I, I, I like it. Uh, but he um, uh, apparently... Was was stepping away from from uh, Gumroad uh, because they were considering doing NFTs. <clears throat> you oh. know, NFTs, the doom of us all. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, but does he realize that Brie Larson now supports NFTs? I I don't think um, he realizes that Brie Larson, the first uh, super heroic woman ever, uh, supports NFTs. But I mean, here we are. Feels like kind of a sexist stance to me. But uh, I mean, you, how do you go against Captain Marvel? All right, but okay. I know so how sexist stance. I mean, it's not man spreading. So yeah, well, that's <laughs> that's a pretty. It's pretty bad. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't even know where to begin with this. So, okay. So Gumroad said they're considering looking into NFTs and a comic artist who has an Andre the Giant book yes. says they're no longer going to be using the Gumroad platform Yeah, and going to GeoCities, Angel Fire, where, where's, what, what, what's the step up from Gumroad? I think it's GoDaddy. GoDaddy. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. But uh, um, yeah, and this is this got people's attention somehow. Well, yeah, because now people had to. Um, well, well. In in all fairness, the uh, Gumroad uh, like Twitter seemed to go crazy and was like hmm. responding to people and being like, you know, uh, there was this whole bit in this uh, tweet here. Where, you know, they were like, if and when we do anything related to crypto NFTs, you'll hear it from us first. For now, no plans. And then, uh, you know, Box Brown was like, don't lie, and like screen capped, um, you know, this uh, back and forth or whatever he was having. So, and then Gumroad was getting, so, so no one looks like not an asshole. In this situation. <laughs> I mean, do these people realize that they're about to go from zero to one dollar? I mean, that is if you can multiply anything by zero and never get one. So this is like the, the mathematical odds of going to zero uh, from zero to one dollar yeah. is uh impossible. So they are doing the impossible. I I love, by the way, in this uh, Gumroad site, and I'll, I'll quit crapping on this site, but it's so much fun because <laughs> it's so terrible. Um, yes. There is a the lifetime revenue milestones and the Gumroad fee. And what's so 
charming about this is it's like if you have zero dollars, the Gumroad fee is nine percent, which <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? But then I love how they go to a thousand dollars, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, one million dollars. And when you make one million dollars on Gumroad, they're only taking two point nine percent. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, the, the whole thing is kind of wacky here. We used to think differently, like what's in it for us. But then we discovered some things are more important than money. But they're taking nine percent of zero. Which is also an impossible feat. So really, Gumroad is doing the impossible every day. <laughs> they are. I love how the, this 9% is repeated several times. Nobody at all looked at this and thought, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. But they just they keep repeating that they only take 9% out of zero. And it's great. Like they it, have, doesn't have to, it doesn't have to make sense because they make dollar. They... <laughs> I even like how they have this table where they compare themselves to Patreon and Stripe and Teachable and all these others. And they proudly threw pink highlighting showcase 9% out of zero. We are the preferred option. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? So, yeah, I, I mean, so Gumroad was already a site that most people, I, I think, kind of disregarded because why? Why regard? I, but I mean, but I'm, then yeah i'm so, just oh, putting God. this up on the screen right now <laughs> instead of selling a book which has a picture of a smoothie machine i guess start <laughs> by selling a blog post for the blog like what what is what are you even communicating here this is this is madness <laughs> it it's it is crazy I, I like this line too. Now here's our secret. We have none. <laughs> Who wrote these lines? You know, when your slogan is go from zero to one dollar, and then you tell us now here's our secret, we have none, it adds more meaning to that. <laughs> it does. We aren't trying to scale up forever. We'd rather help you scale. I, I mean I, I'm I'm watch our financials. Oh no, this is a YouTube video. Nope, not gonna go to that. <laughs> YouTube videos, they're the worst. <laughs> they, they absolutely are. <laughs> I'm terrified now. If this this little thumbnail of a uh, you know a Simpsons yellow colored guy petting his cat is their explanation of marketing. And by the way, what's the, so many so many questions I have here? Oh God, yeah, and they have frequently asked questions. Um, well, what um, we we should go over some of those. What are <laughs> what are? I like this what, graphic too. Business world grow. Gumroad <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean that that sounds about right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, so on one hand, I want to. Uh, I I really want to beat up on the idiot who's bitching about them thinking about nfts but on the other hand what is what what is this site doing and there's a whole section here called university which um i i can't imagine is good no yeah i i, I also don't know if um you want a site that um has things like sell anything we don't limit your ideas <laughs> Well, whether it's a digital download, ebook, course, or monthly membership, we make sure it checks out. I mean, I've heard, and this is something you and I should look into as we're thinking about making more money off YouTube. You know, there's these people who've sold their farts and made a lot of money off of it. Gumroad could help us do that. She only got hospitalized the one time, right? Yeah, between two of us, we could divide up the hospitalization. That's fair. Yeah. But um I, but yeah. I am uh all right, this is this is absolute madness here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um I'm sure that a lot of people are um like like they have all these graphs here of things that go in circles. So open account, add products, start selling, get paid, repeat, open account. Wait, what? You're oh you're you have to open up an account each time. Like, why is this a continual loop? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. 
Do you open account cotton say? Do you know they have uh, lifetime earnings milestones? Uh, and, you know, like you said, it starts at the 9%. If you earn $1,000 on Gumroad, they only take seven. And wait for it. If you sell and make earnings of over a million dollars, it's down at 2.9%. Yeah. That's great. I like that's I said. It's charming. You know, they're shooting for the sky. There is nobody selling a million dollars on this thing. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say it, say it right now. I promise, folks, when we started doing this video, I did not think it was going to be me crapping all over their website. But here we are. No, <laughs> no. Um, yeah. At the start of this video, it was just like, uh, you know what? You tell me th about this Gumroad thing. And I'm like, sure. Uh, I was just happened. wanting to work in a little joke about spitting in someone's mouth, and somehow we, it led us to this place. Yeah, this place where you can sell digital products, physical products, and memberships, almost anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I I don't even understand. Like, again, and they're, they're so hyped up on Procreate. Like, is this the, the, this is the majority of what they do? They they actually say this on their website. A better question is, what can't you sell on Gumroad? <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's as good of a question as they think it I is. I don't think that's a good question. <laughs> I just I don't I don't understand why there's two <laughs> separate blog posts. One November twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one. Another one also November twenty fourth, two thousand twenty one. One top 37 Procreate brushes for artists on Gumroad and one 53 free Procreate brushes you can download on Gumroad. Why, why are there two articles about the same thing with different numbers on the same day? And Well, also uh, an article about like five ways like digital artists can make money on Gumroad, apparently, probably by selling anything. <laughs> <laughs> what can I discover on Gumroad? I... I we can get animation apps and software books and writing comedy. I mean, to be fair, this entire site is selling comedy right now. It's it's viral marketing. Yeah, it, it absolutely. Oh, they have is. comics. What kind of comics? The comfy. You, oh, oh. The oh. Pill mill. oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if the pill mill's a comic. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is that guy people say is a Nazi, right? Stone toss. Is that it? Is it? I lost track of who. who uh, well, I mean, in fairness, that's everybody. <laughs> I, all I know is, isn't this the guy who has the weird white-headed character that everybody changes the text around? Oh, God. Yeah, I, I guess that is. 88. All right. The Midnight Radio book also sounds like porn. Well, I, I hope it is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's something there's about a, This Oklahoma. is good. Uh, Wait, Lily's the, Surgery Fundraiser. What? Why is that a comic? It's free, too. How are they <laughs> it's wait it's it's for surgery it might it's for i mean i feel bad okay so this is a comic about a dog named lily that needs to have surgery and but it's a fundraiser but it's free i hope lily got i mean i, I hope lily got good care that's the thing i hope looking at this <laughs> this fundraiser could go from zero to one dollar i uh, I mean, there's some comics here. No North Northless. What? No North, the Northless Compass, Part One. Huh? That that's a clunky title. I'm sure. Oh, here's two princesses kissing. Elsa likes girls. Wait you really a can't this sell anything. A Disney violation out. here. Yeah. Oh, it's all the Disney princesses making out. Wow, it's Are really just an Alan Moore knockoff, really. <laughs> For every 100 sales, a new illustration will be added. Uh, I have several more ideas for ladies for Elsa to kiss, and I really want to draw them. <laughs> oh, God. This is... Unfortunately, it looks like there's only 19 pages of Elsa kissing, so there are not too many ideas. Wow. So... So people really needed an excuse to not use this site, huh? Come on. We've got spread bimbo pandemic. 
Those are words I never thought I'd hear together. A disgruntled employee at BeautyCon sabotages a machine, creating the first step toward a bimbo pandemic. So what you're telling me is uh, spread bimbo pandemic wasn't enough to make someone go, I don't know if I want to use this website to host my wares. But an NFT was like, look, you can have Elsa kiss whoever she wants and bimbo's having a pandemic all day. But NFTs, I'm out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I, so you brought it back to the right place. So the NFTs are <laughs> I, look. Just don't use them. If if you really hate NFTs, don't use them. Don't, what, don't you shouldn't boycott. If you're boycotting this site because of NFTs, you clearly are not looking at what's being sold on this site. Oh, God. chainmail bikini and, and the arts. Just no. It, it's amateur hour. It's a. Uh, uh, it's there's some game. okay stuff in here. I mean, there not, is there is some okay know, stuff for sure. But you know, the, let's not let's not be too hasty on bimbo pandemic up there. In all fairness, I didn't get a chance to read Bimbo Pandemic yet. Here's so. Naughty Bits 3. Ooh, Naughty Bits 3. That yeah. is good. Huh. Drawn to Drawn Life. To life. Uh, That's that looks like That is a blatant uh, copyright uh, violation. Yeah. I don't um, know. Yeah. I don't even know what to think about all this. Backcountry Ski Checklist? <laughs> is that a comic? <laughs> It's free. It's got a five. It's got a perfect five point oh rating. Ooh! All right. I think everyone knows what they're reading this weekend. I'm very scared to. Uh, can I sort by one star? I want to see what. Here's some characters from The Incredibles. I. Oh no, Bow Luigi! It, it, that was some Luigi Bowser shipping. Oh sure. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah, it is. Bowser Luigi are in love. Oh. So just try and stop me, Nintendo. I'm guessing Nintendo doesn't care. No, but uh, but we're all... Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Please tell me you're going to use some of these images in your video. Oh, oh, 100%. Oh, my God, he's got a wrench? Ugh. He's putting that wrench... Oh, who right. ties their sweatshirt around their waist yeah. at this point? <laughs> that drench is going right into Koopa Town. Um, oh, God. Fan, fan box? Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> well, this is demonetization there. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> trans Harry Potter fanzine magical care. Huh. Keep in mind, the product description states incorrectly that the PDF file is 33 pages, where it has actually 66 pages laid out as double page spreads, point, pun intended. All right. Trans uh, Harry Potter. Sure. Yeah. Why not? I mean. Yeah. Take it back. What? Oh, no. Why, do they, why are they putting the pronoun for Luna Lovegood as they... What? I don't know what's happening here. That actually looks better than I thought it was going to look. It, yeah. That, that, well, I mean, I don't know what this hand here is with this giant silly jewelry, but all right. But, but no, it looks like a decently put together zine. Yeah. You know, the, the intro with the, the character designs there was like wonky, but, but the actual like interiors, not bad. Yeah, no, no, I agree. It's, I don't know about that, but all right. Yeah. Well, I think I feel like we could do this all night here. Um, so it basically, uh, people are freaking out about NFTs, and once again, the internet's stupid. Yeah, so um, it gets dumber because um, there. Was oh, there's more. Yeah, there's a little more because then you know, obviously, you know, people were uh, people were scrambling to shut down their Gumroad accounts. Mm. And right. then there was... They, uh, they, they can't make a dollar if they shut down their Gumroad. It's true. Hmm. So then there was a, a viral sort of tweet that went around uh, accusing Gumroad of, uh, I'm quoting here, literally blackmailing and coercing users to stay on their site and then stealing from them if they choose to leave in any way. 
Now, you might be saying that doesn't sound entirely true. I would be saying that, yes. And um, you would be right because <laughs> what the actual situation is, and you're sitting down, right? Because um, I'm I'm sitting down, but I'm scared. Because uh, here's here's the what's actually happening. You have to have a minimum balance of ten dollars to check out, or else it just stays on the site. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Uh, so you're saying Gumroad, you could set up an account. They don't have that in their little chart. You could set up an account. You could put your products there. But unless you make $10, you can't shut down your account. No. And then if you ask to, you, you, you can go through, but you, you can then decide to shut it down. But then they would keep the money because they can't transfer it back to you. And you want to keep that $1. So, um, you know, well, this is uh, a big lie then their chart that said 9% at zero. It's a hundred percent at zero. Yes. That's a hundred percent at zero. They're a hundred percent zero. Yeah. So, so you, you can, I guess you can. Yeah. So you need at least $10 to take it out. Like by that logic, if you really wanted to shut it down, you could just put the money in yourself and take it out. If it's an absolute emergency, or you can eat the three twenty five or whatever if you desperately need to shut down your. But if yeah. you put in ten dollars, they're going to take ninety cents. You're you're giving these crypto fascists ninety cents, which you're is literal the destruction in the environment. Which is literal blackmail and coercion. This is literal blackmail. Wow, what a what a bunch of scumbags. Yeah. So, um, and, and I mean, this is um, now. Did yeah. people post online? I am outraged. I'm shutting down my Gumroad account. Oh no! I have not made ten dollars. I can't do it. Well, no. Yeah. Tell, tell me, nobody was stupid enough to make themselves look like an absolute dumbass by saying something like that. A lot of people did that. <laughs> God. Wow, we, this, we is, then, this is terrible. We, there were some threads of people who were able to be like, you know what? Um, I reached out to customer service and I was able to let them get me my balance so I could delete my account. So there were people who took the time out of their day mm -hmm. to write Gumroad and then go through the process of trying to get out the $4.12. Yes which they then bought a Starbucks vanilla latte tall with tax and went home and cried silently. Yeah. Or, um, or went to a comic shop with that $4 and 12 cents and found out they couldn't really buy any new comics. That <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <everybody. laughs> wow. Well, <laughs> I'm fascinated to hear what people think they were going to get when they clicked on this video, but <laughs> I, you know what? Neither of us knew what we were going to get when we started this video. That's true. So it's quite, this, it's quite I love, so this is truly unscripted. Uh, wow. Well, you've raised the bar on me. So now I have to come up like, I feel like I had a good win there with the linear verse uh, with yeah. you. But you, you now you've you've thrown down the gauntlet to to the next stupid thing. So I've got to go. I've got to search for for some of equal measure. I don't know what's going to top this though. I don't know. I mean, we are talking comics. It's going to be pretty hard to top. Yeah, that's so. right. Impossible for something to get dumber than this. Yeah, there's no way within two weeks of this video going up that something far dumber happens. Definitely, there's just not. no way. Well. All I can say is, uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments below, and uh, let's roll that memorial. Uh, what do you say? In memory, <laughs> memorial clip. What do you please, say? Please roll. Please, <laughs> please roll it.